Hey guys, it's Goose Breeder here. You guys asked me a bunch of questions. Um, I made a Twitter post on a Q&A video and you guys delivered. I'm gonna answer a good chunk of the questions. Um, sorry if I missed any of them. Um, but yeah, enjoy. So the first question is, what's the difference between practicing solo versus practicing as a team? and what aspects you focus on in both scenarios. Now, when I practice by myself, I'm mainly focusing on um, my aim, my movement, and my nades. So making sure my nades don't suck. Um, yeah. Like for example, I'll go over every Mirage smoke I know, um, useful mollies. Useful mollies, flashes, whatever the heck, kind of things like that. Um, and then after that, besides that, um, it's kind of like whatever I want to do. Like, I might bot aim. Um, I might just do kind of a workshop I like at the time. It varies. So that's what I do by myself. Um... If you want to know more about my warm-up routine, um, there's actually a video on the Selfless channel here. Um, and you can check it out. Um, right now, I've changed it up slightly. I'll do 100 AK kills, 104 kills, and 100 USP kills. And I find that helps me a lot. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I do solo. Just making sure you're as good as you can be. Demo review. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, what you do as a team um, is kind of similar, slightly different. You demo review with your teammates. Um, you can watch pro players. You can see what they do. Um, you can watch yourself, your own team. And you can see what you guys are kind of doing wrong. Or what you can do better, stuff like that, whatever. And what aspects can you focus on in both scenarios? I mean, in both scenarios, you're focusing on what you can do better. So, whether you're playing, you're focusing on what you should be doing as a teammate. Um, if you should be making plays or you should be um, communicating with your team on like, okay, let's regroup, let's do this play, let's retake mid, blah, 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 blah. Um, just for example. <clears throat> Next question is, what is your workout regimen? Now, I'm not too hardcore with working out, um, but, I, <clears throat> but I've been focusing more on like being healthy and staying in shape and whatever. Um, I don't do anything special. Um, I do like cardio every time I go to the gym. Um, and then I'll do like arms and uh, arms, shoulders, back, chest. I'll do that together. <clears throat> and then I'll do legs and core together as well. Um, it kind of depends on how many days I'm going um, and if it's like spread out or not. So sometimes I'll do just legs or whatever, but I generally group them right now. Just because I have enough rest days in between. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't do anything that special. Best shake ever. Um, I'm more of a smoothie girl. But I love strawberries. I love bananas. So you got to get both in there. Um, right now I've been a, li a little more... Um, calorie conscious, I guess. So I won't put like a bunch of stuff. Like I used to put sherbet in my smoothies. Um, stuff like that. Just stuff that's like high in calorie. I'm sure you could find like low calorie sherbet or whatever, but yeah. But right now, my current smoothies, I make one almost every morning. Um, I'll put protein powder like vanilla protein powder. I'll put a cup of strawberries. I'll put um, some veggie powder. 
And then um, bananas, and if I want to kind of like add more, I'll do either like almonds, I'll do cashews, whatever the heck we have. Sometimes I'll put in like orange juice or a different kind of juice or something like that. And yeah, I don't know. It's yummy. It's healthy. Best of both worlds. Would you rather have an army of corgis or pugs? Um, I like both. But since I can only pick one, I think I would pick corgis. Just because I keep picturing corgis on socks right now. And I'm picturing corgis with Superman capes on. And I think that's pretty cute. And I would like to have them as my army. And I wouldn't make them fight. Because, you know, that's just cruel. They would, they would just be cute. <clears throat> Any other games you really enjoy, maybe grew up playing with besides CSGO? Um, the first game I can think of is Guns the Duel. I freaking love that game. I think about this all the time. Like, I would love to play it again, like, just casually. I mean, I wasn't that great, but I wasn't bad. Um, my brother was really good at that game. But I would not mind playing that game again. Um, but I played that for a while. Um, then I played Soldier Front. It came out on like EG or I don't even remember if it was EG at the time. I think it was. It came out and then um, I thought the game looked like poop at first. And then I tried it. I liked it. Um, and then a couple years, like... It's probably like five years later. I quit. Yeah, I like that game, but you know, it was kind of, it was kind of poop, like poorly managed, a lot of bugs. <clears throat> then I stopped playing that game and I started playing League of Legends. I played League of Legends for a couple years. Um. I played League of Legends for a couple years as well. Um, and then I just got into Counter-Strike and I put all my time in Counter-Strike. I just liked the game better. League of Legends started to kind of bore me. Um, I didn't care enough to put the time in to get better, whatever. Um, I was like only good at support and fucking sucked at everything else. So, yeah. Um, right now, games I play besides CSGO, I play H1Z1 and I play Hearthstone. I play Hearthstone kind of off stream, sometimes on stream. Um, it's just a fun way to kill like 20 minutes or something. Um, H1Z1, same thing. I'll play for like 30 minutes. If I don't have time to play another pug and I got like practice or whatever, I'll just do like 20 minutes of H1Z1. And that's kind of what I do right now. Game-wise. Not many other games I play. How did you get your start in CS? So, I started playing CS like... May 2014. I was like a silver at this point. I played Matchmake and I was pretty awful. Um... Played for about a year, um, met friends along the way, um, that had friends who... Friends who were friends with the people on UB United, and they kind of like vouched for me for a while, they needed somebody at some point, and I tried out, blah 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 blah, played a couple events with them, Got kicked. Um, did my own thing for a couple months and joined Karma, uh, which was Karma at the time, now Selfless. I joined them November. I joined them November 2015. And yeah, that's kind of what I've done so far. I've been on um, Selfless for a while now. And that's pretty much how I got my start. <laughs> yeah, it's not that, not that great of a story. 
Um, do you like toast? I do like toast. I don't have it that much, but I do like it. I like to put butter on toast. And, or margarine. You know, whatever is laying around. And I like to put jam on the butter. And I think that tastes pretty good. What did you say to your parents when you wanted to become a pro CS player? I don't know. I, I never really, like, just sat down and, like, had a... I mean, I, I did talk about it a lot, but, like, it wasn't just, like, one conversation, you know? Um, I've been playing games, like, my whole life, and, I mean, I'm sure my parents thought it was, like, a waste of time for a while. Um... And, I don't know, maybe they still do. But, I think it's, uh... I don't think it's, like, too much of what you say. It's more of, like, what they see. Like, I don't know. I travel, like, a, an okay amount to different events. So, I think, um... Like, my mom and my dad seeing that. I, I don't think my dad really, like, cared what I did. But my mom gave me a lot of shit for it for a while. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It sees me traveling now, like, kind of sees that it's my life and my career. It's not just a hobby. It's, it is a hobby, but it's not just a hobby anymore, you know? Like, people actually make a living off this. I mean, I'm not as well off as a lot of people are who, who get it, who are really good at this game or, like, really big streamers, but, you know, I enjoy what I do, and... I mean, I might not make, like, millions or, like, a lot of money. Um, but it's, you know, I do something I love, and for now, that's enough for me. Maybe when I get older, um, maybe it won't be enough. But right now, it's it's what I love, so, um, yeah. I mean, that's how I see it, and I think that's how my parents see it. So, yeah, that's kind of how it went with my parents. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, big thanks to everybody who asked me questions on my Facebook and my Twitter post. Without you guys, I couldn't make this video. So big thanks. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't answer all the questions. There was a lot of questions. Um, I just picked a bait, uh, you know, a handful and answered them. So, yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe I'll do more in the future. If you guys like it, um, if not, God bless. Feel free to subscribe to the Selfless channel. And yeah, hope to see you next time.